Now to our continuing coverage of Decision 2016. For the first time in presidential election history, a spelling error could cost you your vote. Two News reporter Jordan Bowen explains what you need to know to make sure your vote counts. The 2016 election will be the first presidential election where the state is enforcing a law requiring voters to accurately fill out their personal information on their ballot or it won't be counted. Included in every absentee ballot is an ID envelope where voters must fill out personal information like their address and birthday. If you transpose any numbers, the Board of Elections won't count the ballot. Instead, they'll send you a form asking you to correct the information in order for your vote to count. 52,000 absentee ballots have been sent out in Montgomery County. So far for ballots from at least 300 voters won't be counted unless their information is corrected by election day. To find out if your ballot has been approved to be counted, click on the Tracking My Ballot link on the Montgomery County Board of Elections website. Board of Elections Director Jan Kelly says her office is now in contact with those 300 voters. We've sent them letters. Usually we get them back, and sometimes we have to send um, a second letter to remind them. And then when we get those letters back, we attach it to their file and count their vote. Absentee ballots must be postmarked by the day before the election, or you can turn them in here at the Montgomery County Board of Elections by 7.30 p.m. on Election Day. In Dayton, Jordan Bowen, 2 News, working for you.